Hello, and in this video, we're going to be looking at uh, exponential logarithmic forms of writing an equation and how um, we're going to look at the, how the logarithmic form or logarithmic function is, is an inverse of the exponential function. So we're going, to, we're going to start with this example here. We're going to start with 3 to the second equals 9. That's exponential form. It's, it's got a base, an exponent, and what it equals here. So in the exponential form, if we're going to try to solve this, we're going to need to take the log base 3, because that's the base, of 3 squared to both sides of the equation. So we're going to take the log base 3 of both sides of the equation. So we, we insert a log base 3 here, and we insert a log base 3 here. So it's like uh, multiplying both sides of the equation by 2. It's a very similar action. We're, we're applying the same function to both sides of the equation. Now, you need to know that when we do a base 3 and a base here of 3, this is an exponential function. This is a logarithmic function. They're inverses. So what happens here is that these two, this function here and this function here of raising to a power, they cancel each other out or they reduce that down to just the exponent so we're just going to get two here on this side when we see that we'll get a two the just the exponent equals log base three of nine and this is what we call logarithmic form so this is logarithmic form of a, an equation so we started with exponential form and we rewrote it in logarithmic form by taking the log of both sides. Okay, and when we do this, there are two things that I want to note here. So two notes here on this one is that the base of the exponential form is the base of the logarithmic form. That means that the bases are going to be the same. So in the exponential form where you have the base here, that's going to be the base down here as well. So when we say log base 3, we're also saying base 3 to the second power. They're the same thing. The other thing that you should note here is that the log rhythm is the exponent. That means the logarithm equals the exponent. All right, the logarithm equals the exponent. The logarithm is the exponent. All right, those are two special notes you should know about those two forms. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a couple of the forms and do the conversions here back and forth and this is what we're going to ask you to do on some of the handouts and some of the uh, homework. We're going to convert back and forth from exponential form to logarithmic form. All right, let's start with this one here. We're in exponential form. Um, we're going to write down, first of all, we would say that the logarithmic form, the log is going to equal the x is going to be equal to the exponent. So here we were going to say 3 equals log and then the bases are the same. So the base here is 5 of 125. So the exponent always equals the logarithm. So exponent equals log. Base is the same as the base over here. So 5 is the base here. 5 is the base here. All right. So this is the logarithmic form of 5 to the third equals 125. It's log base 5 of 125 equals 3. All right, so now here we have log base 2 of 16 equals 4. So log base 2, so here's where we start with the base. When we're doing exponential form, we always start with the base. So if the base is 2 over here on the log, then it's 2 over here on the exponential form. Now logarithm equals the exponent, so this is the exponent, and then it equals the other number that's in the logarithmic form, which is 16. 2 to the 4th equals 16. 
All right, our third example here, 16 to the 1 half power is equal to 4. We can also write this as 16, the square root of 16 equals 4. So that's another form of that. So if you see a square root, if you see a square root of 16 or square root of a number, we can write it as 16 to the 1 half. All right, so in this form we can do this conversion. So we're going to write, anytime I do this, I always look to see what the exponent is. That's 1 half. So we write 1 half equals log, and then we find the base of this thing, and 16, and the number would be 4. So log base 16 of 4 equals 1 half. Now they've reversed this one here, but it looks like these are the same. 5 here, log base 5, and 5 are the same. So we're going to start with 5. This 5 is your base. And there's your exponent. And then it's going to be equal to this number here, which is 5 also. So 5 to the first equals 5. That's it. the conversion of this one. Now, the last example is log base e. So e is a number that's about 2.718. So it's a, um, we'll discuss what that looks like later, but they're going to use log base E, which they also call the natural logarithm, so they'll use ln. So ln is going to be log base E. So that means the same thing in their notation. You'll see this on the calculator as well. So if you look here on the calculator, here is ln right here. Here is log right here. So we're going to use those two keys in evaluating. But back to the conversion here, um, we're going to look at the base. So there's E. Here's the exponent, 4, and then it equals the other one. So they're exactly the same. Basically, we're saying E to the 4th power equals E to the 4th power, which is true. So this is how we would be doing these conversions from exponential and logarithmic or logarithmic to exponential. You need to identify the base the exponent and the number. So there's three parts. Base, exponent, number, base, exponent, number. In, in an exponent form, um, so sometimes when I write this down, I'll write down log base um, exponent number. So what number here and then exponent here. So that means that uh, in the other form, it's going to be base exponent equals number. So that'll be my conversion back and forth. Base exponent number, base exponent number.